What's good, y'all? It's the coolest kid you know, SP the Cool Kid, and I am up in the building with my man Benny Siegel, the Broad Street Bully. What's good, man? Yeah, what's the deal? What's the deal? What's the deal? What's the deal? You know how I do. How you been doing, man? You been going for a minute. I've been going for a minute, just, you know what I mean, in the cut, laying low. You know what I mean? But I've been working busy, crazy. I got this album, is, I, I'm so itching to drop, but I'm just so anxious because I just got out the studio just now, just laying a crazy record called B-Boy. Okay. This joint is, is bananas. So what can we expect from it? Of course, y'all know the situation as far as, you know what I mean, the Rockefeller and everything, the rock dissolved, it ain't the Rockefeller no more, whatever. You know what I mean? I'm just bringing, the album is called Closure. I'm just bringing closure to, you know what I mean, my feelings on the whole Rockefeller situation. Mm-hmm. I'm going to just give people me. And speaking of the rock, it's rumors that uh, Dame Dash is trying to bring it back. And his comeback artist is a currency. How do you feel about that? I mean, I don't know about him bringing the rock back. I think he's doing something I heard is called the Black Rock. He's trying to build a company or whatever he's doing. But, um, man, more power to him. I ain't gonna get a phone call about it, so I don't think I'm gonna be joining that. Or, but I know for a fact that I won't be a part of that. So, you know what I mean? It, it ain't going to be the rock that people used to love, the old mm-hmm. rock. So it, 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 it'll be nothing like that. I guarantee that. So with that, we was hoping to see like a reunion with State Property, man. You still talk to them? Are you still close with them? Yeah, I talk to Free all the time, talk to PD. You know what I mean? I just had a conversation with Oskino the other day. I um, always talk to Sparks. So we going to get together, you know what I mean? Hopefully, we right now, I'm just concentrating on bringing my career back to where it should be. In the future, we can get together and do a, a state property album and get the state prop back together. You know what I mean? That'd be love. We know you were... Uh going to sign with G-Unit, but uh, it didn't go through. Do you still talk to 50? Yeah, we still had conversations. That's still a possible situation. I, I, the, the conversation that me and 50 having is not me actually signing the G-Unit, but me and him uh, as a company together. Okay. Our own uh, work the label together, so... You know, he, right now he just dropped his album, so he was out. He was overseas on his European tour overseas, and he about to go on tour here in the states. So, you know, he a busy man. He do a lot of things. He wear a lot of different hats. But I'm still looking forward to doing that situation with uh, Fifty. I think that'll be a good look. All right, would you be gone so long and the game changes so much? With new cats, our new artists, would you see yourself working with, and who do you want to work with? As far as the new artists that's out there, there's really nobody that really moves me like that. I do. I do a record with Jeezy, I do a record with Yo Gotti, I do a record with uh, Juice Man, mm-hmm. I do a record with, I don't know, it's limited. Like nowadays, it don't take nothing. I can lay my music down and, and make a hit tomorrow if I wanted to sacrifice my integrity to do so. But I'm a man of morals and principles and integrity. integrity. That's what's popping right now because the kids, you know what I mean? Half the rappers out here right now who got the hits and we're doing it, they probably on the sixth grade read level. So they rhymes is elementary. <laughs> because they vocabulary is out of the room. My lexicon is broad. I'm from a different, you know what I mean, era. Not to make myself sound old or whatever, but all they do, I call it lollipop music. That's you yeah. right. That's what it is. You right. Yeah, it, it, that's easy to do that. The new gimmick is you gotta have. Well, that was the gimmick for for a minute. I think I played out. You had to have a dance to go with your record. Right. Who wanna see BBC with dancing? <laughs> I'm rocking and dropping it. It'll never happen. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it never happened. <laughs> Since everything, the situation with Jay Z and everything, has he tried to contact you? Uh, have you guys I spoke at talk, all? I haven't talked to Jay Z in years. Last time I had a conversation with Jay Z was at the opening of the 4040 Club in Vegas. And I think that was about 07. I ain't talked to Jay Z in about like four, three or four years. Wow. So are your feelings still the same as when you drop Average Cat? I mean, yeah, it's still the same. We ain't had that conversation yet. Mm. That's all it is. It's conversation. Like, give me that conversation that I think I deserve as a man. That's all I'm asking to be a man at the end of the day. Right. Why don't you think he responded? I don't think he responded because I don't think he want to go through that conversation, that confrontation with me lyrically. If he was who you profess to be, it went far from just you being my homie. Like, you called me your brother. So that's why I said on the average cat, it wasn't a green light for people to make this Jay-Z records. Because, you know what I mean? I got a lot of people all Jay-Z top that was riding on him hard. Mm-hmm. So... And I know they were, and, and I, there's a lot of people that would have rolled on Jay-Z hard far as in the hip-hop game, but didn't because they know they had to have a conversation with BBC if they did. Right, right. 
So by me dissing Jay, I just was letting people know it wasn't a green light to come at my man. Because at that time, I still got, you know what I mean? It's still so feeling that I got love for the brother. But you got to go in the backyard with me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I ain't going to shoot you, but you got to put the gloves on, cuz. Would you say with his success, he kind of went Hollywood? All the way. He told you with his music, he got a record called Hollywood. I don't have to say that. You can tell. It was company. I mean, just the accusations that's going on about him, about him being... And they say, you know, that stuff. It's like when people start talking about certain things and it come out, it ain't coming out just for no reason. It had to be something there for them to talk about that. When can we expect this album? Real soon, you know. I can't wait for it to drop. We just waiting to cut through the red tape, you know what I mean, and, and, and the album dropping. But I'm anxious. I'm thinking I'm going to just put a record out just to throw it out there. A couple of them just to quench people's thirst. Man, well, it definitely, when it drops, man, we got to get it, man. You got to send it you to us. You got to go get the closing. You got it. I might get you. I might give y'all exclusive when I come out there. When I come out there and rock with a Columbus at Scully, you know I'm gonna be in the building all crazy. And, <laughs> you know what I mean, I'm 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 gonna be there to party with the people. I ain't gonna jump on stage, do two, three records, and give you the Russell Simmons speech. God bless you tonight. <laughs> no, I'm gonna be on the stage rocking. And I told you I'm, I'm I might be bringing a couple people with me, so it might. It, 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 I ain't even gonna say it. it's gonna be bananas. <laughs> And after I rock the spot, I'm jumping on the stage early. So make sure y'all get there early. Don't be late. <laughs> you know I mean, don't meet me there. Beat me there. Get there early because I'm on stage. I'm rocking early and I'm getting off stage and I'm going to jump in the crowd and tell the people <laughs> we going to get drunk. I mean, rounds on me, pop bottles and play with models. That's what we going to do. Hey, we definitely going to show out. you a good time, man. We definitely going to show you a good time. Y'all May 21st. To come to, I come to give y'all a good time. Y'all got to show me some love because I ain't, I ain't going to be the average MC that stay in the dressing room and, and then jump on all outside in the car with a security, get on stage for 10 minutes and then he leaves. No, I want to get on stage, rock the house, and then jump in the crowd, and get drunk with everybody else. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. May twenty first at Scully's. You know it's going down at Scully's. It's going down. All right, Benny Siegel, the Broad Street bully, man. We appreciate him coming through, kicking it with me, SP the Cool Kid, Empire one hundred seven five.